Hey kids, uh, we're going to take a look today at a different way of attacking division. Uh, today we learned the traditional method in class, and that was good for a lot of people, but other people maybe not so good. So today's method will be hangman uh, method of a division, which I learned recently, and you might that like that a little bit better than what I taught you today, so take a look. So here we have an example of 772 divided by 9, uh, and using the traditional method, what I would you know, first tell you to do is come up with an estimate, right? So you might say to yourself, well, 772 isn't compatible with 9, or 77 isn't compatible with 9. So what I would do is I would change this to 720. That's compatible with 9, and my answer would be somewhere around 80. Um, and that's fine. So we would, we would start off here uh, with with 80, and we'd, we'd cover up, right, because that's what... Some people were doing, can 9 fit into 7? No. Can 9 fit into 77? Yes. Well, how many times? Well, it goes in 8 times. There's 72. And we'd follow our steps that we learned in class. You know, the Danny makes sugar cubes by raising cane uh, kind of method. So I'll just follow this out for a second. Move my square out. And I'm checking to see that five, 5 is less than 9. And so it is. So I'll bring down 2 and then... 9 times, let's see, 9 times 5 is 45, 9 times 6 is 54, so I'll go with 5 times 45. I'll subtract this, and moving right along, I come with 7. There's nothing else to bring down, so I've got an 85 remainder set. Most people understood that. It can get a little bit confusing uh, because there's a lot of steps to remember. So let me show you the hangman version. So the hangman method is uh, pretty much the same way of doing it, only looking at it from a different point of view. And it's going to call into uh, play your estimation skills. A lot of kids like this because they can break it up into even more manageable pieces. Here's how it works. Um, so we'll take the same problem that we did before, only this time we'll draw something that looks kind of like a hangman's, uh, you know, you've played hangman before, you know what this thing looks like. And we'll put the 772 here. And so here's, what you, here's how you attack this problem. You don't necessarily have to know your, your multiplication tables incredibly well to do it this way. You just need a place to start. So let's pretend that I wasn't very good at my 9 times table, and I only really knew it up to 5. I could, I could start there. I could say, well, you know, 9 times 5 is 45, so 9 times 50 must be 450. So I could just put the 50 over here, 9 times 50 is 450. And I'm just going to subtract that and see what I get. So 2 minus 0 is 2, there's another 2, and there's a 3. So I'm left with 322. And now I just want to get closer to that with my 9. So I know that 9 times uh, 3 is 27, and so 9 times 30 would be 270. And that's relatively close to 322, so I'll just go with that. And we'll do subtraction again, and I'm left with 52. And then finally, I, I say to myself, well, okay, 9 times 5 is 45, so I'll put that down there. And I'm just making the number smaller and smaller and smaller until I can't divide it any further. So then I'm left with 7, and 9 can't go into 7, so that becomes my remainder. Now, to get the answer, what you do is you just take these numbers over here uh, on this side of the board, and you add them up. So, 50 plus 30 plus 5, well, that would be 85. Okay? And so your, an your total answer would be 85 with that remainder of 7 right there. And that's how you do the hangman method. It doesn't really matter which method you use. You use the one that makes most sense to you. If, that, if I move too fast on any of this, just rewind, uh, go back to the beginning of the video, check it out again. Uh, and you might want to practice with... Um, hangman method and, and see if it, it becomes an easier tool for you to use. Okay? Good, good talking to you and good luck.